Hey, what's going on gang? Welcome to your 22nd Vue.js tutorial and in this video I want to introduce you to props. Okay then, so if you're coming from a React background then you probably already know what props are. Basically, they're a way for us to transfer data from a parent component to a child component. In this case, we have our root component at the top, which is the parent component, and we could pass data down in the form of a prop to this child component, the header component. Okay, for example, in the last tutorial, we defined this property title on the header component, then we output it in the template. Instead, what we could do is define that title as a property on this root component, and then pass it down as a prop to this header component and still output it in the same way. Now, I'm guessing you're sitting there thinking, why on earth am I going to want to do that? That sounds ridiculous and a waste of time. Why not just define it on this header component as we have already done? And that's fine. However, imagine this case scenario. You've got a website with five pages. On, on each of these pages, you want to output a list of ninjas, right? Now, the structure of these ninjas, the look of them and the style of them are all going to be the same. However, the data, the actual ninjas that we're outputting are different in each page. Now you might be thinking we need five different components therefore, one for each different page which is going to output these ninjas. Wrong. Instead, we just create one component. This ninja component like we've already created and that is going to do all the heavy lifting for us and output those ninjas for us. So how do we output different data in each different time we use this component? Well, we pass down the list of ninjas, the data, as a prop to this ninja component every time we need it. So we're nesting this component in each one of these five different parent components, the five different pages, and each time we nest it, we're passing down a prop with that data. So different data can be passed down each time, but we're still using the same Ninja component to receive that data each time and output it to the template. Make sense? Okay, so let's have a go at these props. So right now we're in this Ninja's component right here we created in the last tutorial and we're defining our ninjas in this component right here so instead let's cut that and define it on the root component the parent component in the data right here so let's save that now there's two steps to passing and receiving props and they are just them passing them and receiving them so Imagine the parent component has a hand and it's reaching out with the prop and it's going to drop it into this component. Now we have to reach out with a hand from this component to receive it, otherwise it drops on the floor and we can't use it. So those two steps we have to do, we have to pass it and receive it. So how do we receive it first of all? Well dead simply, in this object we can just say props and then this is an array and we can say in this array which props we want to receive. Now we want to receive the ninjas props. We're outputting ninjas here. So that has to be the name of the prop that we're receiving, ninjas. Okay, because once we receive this, we can just use it in the template, just like we would as if the uh, data was defined down here. Okay, so it's called ninjas. Let's put a comma after that and save it. And we want to pass this now to this component. So this is how we receive it. Let's go and pass it now. So the way we pass it is by coming up here to where the component is nested and we pass on a prop in this tag. So we give this prop a name. Now the name it's looking for is ninjas. We said in this ninjas component, we're looking for this prop. So it has to be the same name ninjas and that's gonna to equal to this data down here, ninjas. So if we place ninjas in here, is this gonna work? Well, let's save it and find out. If we refresh over here, no, this is not working and that's because we're not actually passing down this data right here. We're passing down a string ninjas and I can demonstrate that. If I up here just do a p tag then output ninjas we're gonna see this string right here ninjas and if I change this to one two three you're gonna see this update ninjas one two three so it's this string we're passing down as a prop and not this array. So how do we pass down the array instead? Well remember if we want an attribute to be dynamic then we have to use vbind. So we can say v-bind and it's going to bind to this ninjas prop attribute and then this is going to be dynamic. It's going to look at this property down here and say okay I want to pass this down not just the string because we've used vbind to make this dynamic. Okay so let's save that now and check this out. This time we see 
this big array output where that p tag was let's delete that because we don't need it anymore and now these things work they're being passed down and being used in the template cool so like i said before once we receive a prop here we can use it within this component in the same way as if it was defined down here in the data like this right and you can see that from when we output it here in the template we're just using ninjas now we can also access it from the methods in the same way so we could say for example methods and this is an object and inside here we'll have a function called test and within this we could say this dot ninjas and we could access this prop the same way as if it was defined here by just saying this dot ninjas okay so that is all the same as well so i'm just going to save that now i want to show you one more thing and that is validation so say for example when we receive this prop we want to make sure that it is in fact an array and not a string right because we're cycling through that array and a string won't work well we can add this validation on to this prop right here so instead now of this being an array this is an object and then inside this object we name first of all which prop we want to receive and it's called ninjas right then this is an object and in here we can do our validation so we can say type and this is going to be an array okay now if this ninjas prop which is passed down to us is not an array and it's a string then this is going to fail okay so for example if i say string we're actually passing down an array but i'm saying here i want the type to be a string if i save this now check this out we're going to get an error in the console if i just inspect and then go to console we're going to see some kind of error over here invalid prop type check failed expected string got array so this is failing and we get an error okay so this is really good for development so we can make sure that this is in fact an array and we can also say required is true therefore this will fail if we do not pass down this prop because we're now saying that ninjas is required okay so there we go guys that is props in a nutshell we are going to be using them much more as we go along through this tutorial